are at the head offices of Club Med in Montreal today with Madame Jacinda Lowry, Head of Sales for Canada. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Ariane. You've been in your position for approximately six and a half years now? Actually, eight and a half years with Club Med. When I first started, I was director of Club Med Business, but our group uh, department, which is now Meetings and Events by Club Med. And in 2010, I received my promotion at title of Director of National Sales for Canada. What are the challenges you have encountered as Head of Sales for Canada? Good question, Ariane. Um, there's quite a few challenges, all very stimulating and motivating, but I think I would start by answering my first priority is the team. Then the challenges obviously were in sales, it's reaching sales targets, sales objectives. And that would be impossible without the team. So, and I want to succeed. Very competitive, I want to succeed. So it's getting the team on board, keeping them stimulated, motivated, believing in where we're going, the direction, strategy, for everybody to be on board and that we work in one direction. And so far it's working very well. Fantastic. Yeah. So we know that Quebec has always been the prominent market in Canada, but sales are increasing, increasing and the market is growing outside of Canada in Ontario. Can you talk to us about that? Um, we're having a very, uh, actually a success story um, in regards to our sales, the increase of sales. Um, yes, Quebec remains predominantly um, the, 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 the major province no, that, that sells the most in Canada, but Ontario represents 20% of our Canadian sales with a nice progression increase of plus 9% for last year. We now have our two uh, BDMs within the market that are based in the market, more marketing dollars, uh, and more and more what we're hearing on the train with our travel partners is that I don't know what you guys are doing, but we're hearing more and more of Club Med. So music to my ears. Um, we, I look forward, we all look forward to seeing more of an increase in English Canada uh, and especially Ontario. So what are these sales arguments? What are the points that the travel agents can um, offer to their clients to go and get new customers for Club Med and also make them loyal to the Club Med brand? That's one of our strengths actually, is the, the loyalty and the repeat that we have on our clientele. The first sale can be the hardest, but once they have, the travel partner has convinced the client to try a Club Med, the repeat is very, very high. What we have seen with the, the tendencies of what the traveler is looking for today is really the experience. Obviously that it's easy in, in regards to organizing and coordinating, but over and above that, and what we can offer is the all-inclusive, is the memorable experiences, the experience that will bring them together, um, that they'll go home with an, a, you know, bonded and, and memories for a lifetime. And Club Med responds well to that in regards to, you know, Creative in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic by Cirque du Soleil, uh, our ski product, where we basically have very little competition. It's the all-inclusive ski. We've eliminated all the irritants, the possible hesitants that could make a, a family not want to, to do a ski vacation. Snorkeling, that you go off the, 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 the coast, the beach, and to go snorkel, included in the package, second largest coral reef in, in Cancun. Uh, and I could go on and on, but, um, and then also that large portfolio that we have that you can do a ski vacation with Club Med, a sun vacation, um, th that you could go on the Club Med too, but our, our, our yacht, our sailboat. Wow, that's incredible. You're on five continents. You have, I think, over 70, 70 Club resorts, Med. All all-inclusive. And you mentioned ski. We heard this week a little bit more about mm -hmm. Club Med Massif in Quebec, which is going to be a ski resort right here in Canada. Is yes. there anything you can share with us about that? Number one, I have to say, very, very excited to be part of the project. This is huge. Uh, first all-inclusive in Canada, and the first all-inclusive ski in the Americas. Um, so I can say 
for myself and the team. So truly excited to be part of this project. And um, I, most of you, and if you have not seen, we launched the first images, renderings, this week on what the uh, Quebec Charlevoix Resort will look like. Quebec Charlevoix Club Med will open in December of 2020. Incredible. Yes. It's a game changer. It is a game changer on so many levels. But you know, you're talking about the English market. Yeah. This will be an eye opener for the brand mm -hmm. to keep us, because another challenge to keep us top of mind, Quebec Jean Lavoie is going to assist us with that. Incredible. Yeah. So to finish up, can you name a favorite Club Med in the world that you have visited? Um, I could go on on this, but I've done 14 or 15 different Club Meds on three of the five different continents. My favorite, I'm tossed between the ski resort and Morocco, Marrakech, Incredible. with everything that I had to offer. Uh, or Punta Cana, if we're going to stay close to the zone, four hours away, because of everything that it offers. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Well, thank you very much for having us today. Thank you, Ariane. See you soon. Mm -hmm.